Hey loves, welcome back to Life with Shakisha. It is your girl, and today I am doing a, another planner-related video. Yes, why not? Y'all are just loving them so much. Why not keep them coming? So, if you want to see today's video, keep watching. So before we get into today's video, I want to welcome all of my Her Lovely Plan OGs. Thank you for all the love, all the likes, all the shares, all the comments. Y'all are doing it real big and you know it is mad love here. And if you are new to the channel or if you're new to just my planner related content, thank you for tuning in to another video. I'm glad to have you here. We do all the things on this channel. We vlog, we do videos about planners, and sometimes we even do videos about plant-based living. But today is all about planners. So if you think you're going to like it, well, I know you're going to like it. Go ahead and give this video a big old thumbs up. Click that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you'll never miss any of my videos. All right, so today's video is... I like to call them a decorate with me only because I really don't write out my plans but I will still call it a plan with me video simply because I am setting the stage for my plans by doing a little bit of minimal deco in my journey of being a super duper uber gotta have all the things planner babe to now becoming a more minimal and realistic planner babe for myself i realized what i like to have in my planner and what i need to have in my planner and i finally have found a balance of course if you are a diehard planner babe you love stickers you love doll stickers you love pens markers and all those things and that is still me um, and I feel like that's why I never got away from paper planning. I just never focused on it. And then also, like I've told y'all before, um, when I was filming 100% planner content and doing the Happy Mail videos, product reviews, being on all the PR teams, I was doing all the decorate with me and I was not planning. And, you know, had to step all the way back <laughs> um, but now that I have found a lot of balance in my life I know that I'm able to give you all some of that planner content and show y'all the new style of planning for me um, which is going to give you again that deco but also some minimal so we're going to go ahead and jump straight into this plan with me all right loves again I'm going to keep saying it so I figure it out. I apologize for this glare over here. Yeah. So anyway, so the stickers that I'm going to use, I know I used this in last week's um, plan with me, but I'm going to do some things a little bit different. Go back to the old school with some of the box stickers um, because I really don't have a lot to do this week. So I figure I can have fun with some deco. And this sticker book by Create with Brie, the pompous grass goes perfect with Crochet Design's luxury click sticker book. This is volume one. She does have another book and I'm so obsessed with these. I bought two of each just so I wouldn't have to have FOMO over the other ones. So before we get into the getting into... As you can see, she done got a little more chunkier. I added some of the things from my intention box from cloth and paper. Um, so this is going to be a part of any of my planner vlogs, well, planner videos. If I've updated anything, I'm going to show you all. So in the inside, you see I've updated, refreshed the pockets, and I'm actually loving the pocket. Um, so this was a freebie from pretty prez um, so I was like this would be perfect to put in my planner and then I put this flower with the gold trim 
And then this Latitude card, this is the um, card from Cloth and Paper for the month of May. And then I just have this acrylic or I think it's acrylic. Yeah, it's acrylic card that I had in there before with these um, flag stickers or flag post-its. Um, just to add that color palette. So this is the Infamous Flute cover and it's pretty thick you all. So um, if you think it's going to make your planner you know, too bulky, either you can make another planner using this as the cover and then just use a clear back, um, a clear piece for another one. But anyway, so this is the flute and this is the dashboard and I just kind of just layered it on top of you know we'll put it behind everything else um, I did add some y'all remember these clear pockets these clear pockets that you get from the target bullseye spot every year that school happens I stock up on these because you're I don't care whether you're doing a planner or not these come in handy listen when the school season is about to start, make sure y'all stock up. They have them in all sizes, but I typically get the squares. So I just add that to the back of this dashboard that I printed myself. That way I can, you know, decorate my pockets. Because I got so much cute stuff, but I just don't have, you know, enough pockets and stuff to um, debut them. Here I added these transparent highlight strips from Norris Cove. And I just put this on the back of, um, this was a like a thank you card from Point and Hun. I got some half sheets. This way I can kind of just jot stuff down. Um, as you can see, I got some new top tabs. That way I can go to the sections that I need to. Um, add these little circles there. Added some half sheets here. And then on my This Week um, divider, I just put some of these rectangle sticky notes and I'll just move this in between each week I added another pocket to my daily section on the today dashboard and then I just put these samplers you can actually use these but I think I'm gonna just keep this as samplers um, just so I can know the color of each shop or I might get some of the um, business card inserts I just have to see if cloth and paper have has them so I can just put these inside the little business card sleeves because I really think these are cute then y'all I've been being creative this was my uh, mini HP acrylic dashboard from cloth and paper um, but I trimmed it up to fit in my CP Petite and all I really did, because the Mini has seven discs, the, um, eight, the CP Petite has six. So I just cut the top and then trimmed the sides um, to make it work. <clears throat> I got this ruler that I added in. This from Cloth and Paper with some more sticky notes from Cloth and Paper. And then on the back of the extra clear cover, because y'all know I, I use two, I like to have one you know just to bear down I added a clear pocket <laughs> hey bubbies Hi. I added a clear pocket with some of these transparent stickers from papery planning and then I put this magnet on the back so it can keep this cloth and paper sampler all right so let's go ahead and get to decorating for this week as you can see, I have some pre-planned notes. And I think what I might do is to actually... Um, I bought you some carrots. I think I'm going to take this out and keep it... Man, this is the next week is going to be the last week. Um, keep it here. That way I can write down stuff that I know I need to do for that upcoming week. First is always using the sticky notes. So we're going to put that to the side. We're going to pull these out. And we're going to go ahead and decorate for the week of May 20th through the 26th.
I hope you enjoyed today's decorate slash plan with me um, as you can tell like that melanin color um, play or scheme is just really if I can decorate every spread with that particular color I probably would but you know I got to savor the stickers because I don't you know I've gotten rid of a I need to say a lot. I got rid of probably 90% of my sticker books. Um, so what I have is what I have, and I'm trying to work with that because besides, you know, being a minimal planner, I also want to spend minimally <laughs> on all the things. So I've been doing really good so far since I've jumped back into the decorative part of planning with kind of getting a feel for what it is that I want to put that way when I get ready to run low I know what to replenish on and I will probably never get back into the sticker business I might make a few here and there for myself or for myself or if I have like some digital stickers that I want to print and you know I'll do that but you gotta know <laughs> you gotta know what works for you so I hope you enjoyed today's video if so, again, make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, or if you are new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you'll never miss any of my videos. And lastly, share this with a planner, babe. Share this with a good planner friend that you know that, you know, likes stickers, that likes minimal, but just likes good old planner videos. Go ahead and share this channel. All you have to do is click the little button and it says share. You can post it on your socials, text it, email it, save the link, and repost it every time I upload here on this channel. So until next time, loves, peace.